We just got in a car crash about an hour ago. Ilya lost control of the car. And we hit the median. Everybody's okay. The kids are okay. Our, our wheels and our trailer are messed up. And our car is not drivable. I'm a little shaken up, in case you can tell. Well, things happen, and this is a lesson for us, definitely. We have to reevaluate what we're doing, what we did wrong, what we needed for the trailer, what happened, and um, I guess we need a new truck. We'll keep you updated. So what happened in Dallas? Dallas was like Hotel California. You could get in, but you couldn't get out. What was supposed to be a three-day stay ended up to be three-week stay in Dallas with all sorts of fun. <laughs> Adventure is not just exploring the parks or seeing the sights. Sometimes adventure is dealing with insurance or dealing with people that beat themselves in the chest and they say this truck is amazing, it's going to get you anywhere you need to go. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that. Anyhow, we were going from Waco to Dallas and it was really windy. To my surprise, I never been driving on speed limit of 75 with bumpy road and all kinds of trucks going by. If you ever towed any kind of travel trailer, not a fifth wheel, but a travel trailer, I don't think fifth wheel have that problem. Anytime you have a truck that, that zooms by you, especially if they're kind of close to you, it just kind of sucks you right in like a vacuum. Um, anyhow, so sometimes we would get some sway and I would hit the trailer brake control and it would straighten everything out and we would be fine. We were driving 60 to 65 because otherwise it was kind of way more out of control. Um, yeah. So then the one beautiful moment, um, I didn't even notice if there was a truck next to me. All of a sudden I just felt like we picked up a lot of sway. I uh, tried to control it, I tr hit the trailer brake with very little effect, it just kept rocking us left and right more and more. Uh, hit the accelerator a little bit, tried to pull out of this way. Uh, I guess at that point it was way too late. So all of a sudden we started skidding sideways on my right side. And at that point you know you're gonna crash, you just don't know how bad you're gonna crash. And we hit the wall that's in the middle and we really barely even felt it and luckily as busy as the highway was cars everywhere flying at you know over 75 miles an hour nobody hit us so we end up in the left lane facing the traffic it took about 20 minutes for the police to show up and probably 15 minutes for the fire and ambulance i think the ambulance was the first we were only 40 miles outside of Dallas. It was like the last small town before you get into Dallas suburbia. And thankfully we were only an hour away from our friend's house and they came to pick us up and we spent the next <laughs> almost three weeks at their place. So thank you so much, Leo and Liana, for letting us stay and for your goodness to us. So from here, everything got really interesting. <laughs> First of all, dealing with insurance, which I called them right when we were still on the highway. Then with the towing company. They wanted to tow that RV without the wheels on it. They wanted to get out, get it off the road and they didn't want to wait five minutes to put a spare on, which I was begging them to do that. Finally, I talked to the police and they gave okay. We put one spare wheel. Um, then I thought they are going to flip the trailer. I have a little clip of it, so we're going to show you about that. Uh, so then we end up staying on the highway for another hour at least. Uh, they were looking for another spare tire so they could tow us out of there to a campground. Turned out to be that the axles were bent a little bit so we couldn't go to a campground so everything went to the wrecker yard. Our friend Leo picked us up. I was uh, calling insurance every day. They kept telling me it's going to take three to four weeks to get anything done. I tried to explain that I live on the road and I cannot have sit in Texas for three or four weeks. Uh, nobody seemed to do anything or listen to anything I was saying. So yeah, the first week was just like a lot of nothing. 
the second week we start getting some answers but that's where the whole new set of problems began because insurance had us towed the trailer to their preferred collision dealership center type of thing so we went there and they didn't want to do an estimate unless they're going to do a repairs without telling me how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take which I wouldn't agree to that so then I have to call insurance anytime I call insurance I get a call from the shop I call the shop I get a phone call from insurance it just got really really annoying so I end up calling every supervisor and their mother <laughs> yeah it was extra extra frustrating anyway same thing with the truck by the time they get somebody to come out and look at the truck and then the estimate they did wasn't even half of what the estimate should have been um, so anyway I'm not sure why they do things that way but it was really complicated and you had to stay on everybody to get anything done every time we took a step like look like somebody was about to take advantage of us eventually things started working out we got some answers about the truck they looked at it basically we knew it's gonna be totaled the trailer it was fixable so after I called it was transferred from one person to another person to another person basically what I wanted just tell me how much it is I'm gonna take it to a place that's gonna fix it quick and get a job done and at first the lady from insurance didn't want to do what I was asking finally I talked to some other guy um, and he didn't have a problem with that so then we ended up taking it to the triple A trailer in Dallas area and the guy did pretty good job I mean there was a couple flaws but he basically did what I wanted we put straight axles which gave us about a four inch lift because if we would get anywhere on even road or getting off driveways a lot of times I would get so close in the back that I would scrape um, so now the trailer is a little bit higher he and then I ordered the wheels that I needed the tires that I needed uh, the toilet and I fixed a couple things inside myself so that was going well um, in uh, all of this process we needed a new truck so I frantically was looking around for truck and I prayed and all of this other stuff but I guess I was a little bit desperate so we went and looked at this truck and it's it's a truck it has you know it's not perfect but I my biggest question was is the truck running is there any issues and the guy said no he said there is no problems and all of this other stuff so seemed like the nicest people my wife even said I could be friends with his wife well that's uh, until the next day as soon as we paid him I went to get a temp tank that everything changed the truck wouldn't start 20 minutes later as soon as we left his house I called the guy he said oh I left you some ether on the door so you could you spray that in your intake and the truck will start with anybody who has a diesel you know that you're not supposed to do that which some people do but so clearly there was a problem so here we are uh, as soon as we thought we were out of the woods we were uh, up to our ears again so we needed to find um, a mechanic that would fix this so we were kinda at the end of our rope like I am pretty mechanically inclined I would say I know kinda my way around I know how to fix a few things obviously I'm not at home so I can't do all of this but the next day um, so yeah we couldn't sleep much that night uh, we tried to give the truck back and get our money back that wouldn't happen basically we needed to go to court and I don't have 30 days to do that and I'm not sure how that would end anyway so we prayed a lot that night so if nothing else this was definitely amazing for our prayer life we pray a lot more since then <laughs> yeah so pray more so you don't have these things <laughs> So the next day I went to get a few things. I went to set up the transport for the RV to be picked up from the dealership and taken to AAA trailer. And after I had all of that done, I went to Panera Bread and got myself some coffee, sat in the car and cried and prayed. And after that I had real, real peace. So there was this other truck that I was going to look at but it was an hour away from me at the moment when I was looking at it 
and that was end of the day and I was just like forget it um, so at this point I'm thinking maybe I can trade it in or I'm just gonna go look at it anyway so I go there I look at the truck I talk to the guy I tell him my story and he says next door to me is the best diesel mechanic I know which is GT Pro Services and they did amazing job so I took my truck there for the repairs the guy instantly told me what would be the problem basically needed to change some oil rings possibly a couple injectors because they leak oil they don't generate enough pressure so when the oil is cold it will start just fine but as soon as the oil warms up it doesn't start so we end up taking the truck there and did a whole bunch of stuff we did an oil change filter was which filthy uh, we did fuel filters we did belt tensioner turbo hoses two injectors all the o-rings um, we also changed the clutch fan because the as soon as you would drive and stop at the light the AC wouldn't be blowing as cold as it was and actually overheated once so it ended up to be two thousand dollars later but everything seemed good and uh, we were able to get back on the road and start driving so we kind of felt free again <laughs> after being in Dallas for 10 days and finally getting things squared away with our truck and trailer everything's been at the shop being worked on we decided we need a break from the big city so we took a 2,000 mile round trip vacation to visit <laughs> Ilya's sister in Jacksonville we needed some sunshine and beach and just try to get away clear our mind um, so we were gone for about five days and we came back feeling refreshed and ready to get back on the road we felt like between the insurance and the guy selling us the truck and the dealer and all this other stuff uh, it was just like one bad experience after another which uh, unfortunate kind of but at the same time all of this really made us kind of rely on the Lord a lot more and dig into the word and pray and it's been very very beneficial for our family so and all these troubles we basically got some upgrades to the RV we have a truck that's so far working okay I uh, will tell you more about that in the next episode so even in situations like with this truck there is no way I would ever find a mechanic that I did because even if you go to any shop like they give you these astronomical numbers and they tell you you need to change basically half your car so that was kind of my fear. I usually stay away from dealers or the big boy mechanics. So <laughs> after praying and going to look at that truck, which might seem very random, it's not random to me at all because when I got there, the guy basically was very honest with me and he told me that I buy trucks from the auctions and I flip them. And if you want, you could trade in with me. But he's like, if you're going to bring your truck, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to this diesel mechanic. So he told me if I would be you, I would start there. And that's what I did. So I'm very grateful because I feel like I did a lot of tuning for the truck to make it better, to make it more safe, and for a very reasonable price. So in this, I've seen provision of God. Also, whatever the insurance paid us, just because we saved a little bit on the trailer, taking it to a guy they did the work and I ordered some of the parts myself we end up basically breaking even on paying for the truck and the repairs thank you for watching if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell next to it so you get a no notification every time our video comes out and it comes out every Sunday